Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. President Donald Trump is currently occupied with his 12-day trip throughout Asia, which will see him visit five different nations. However, that doesn't mean he's forgotten about North Korea's increasingly volatile leader Kim Jong-un, who has refused to back down from his threats against the United States in recent months. In a show of force which has likely caused the chubby dictator to wet himself, Trump sent a special gift to Kim Jong-un this week as he was making his way through Asia. In a groundbreaking announcement on Thursday, the U.S. Navy said that three aircraft carriers will be staging joint drills in the Western Pacific. It is the first time in a decade that the USS Ronald Reagan, USS Nimitz, and USS Theodore Roosevelt will conduct coordinated operations in international waters off the coast of Korea. It is a rare opportunity to train with two aircraft carriers together, and even rarer to be able to train with three, commented Scott Swift, commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Swift added that the operation, which will begin on Saturday and continue through November 14, demonstrates Washington's ironclad commitment to the continued security and stability of the region. On Wednesday, Trump warned North Korea not to try the United States but appeared to moderate his bellicose tone, offering Pyongyang's young leader Kim Jong-un a path to a better future. The president meets Chinese leader Xi Jinping on Thursday for talks dominated by the threat posed by North Korea's nuclear and missile program. Beijing and Washington have also been at odds over Chinese naval operations in the South China Sea. The U.S. warships will carry out air defense drills, sea surveillance, defensive air combat training and other training operations, the Navy said. Earlier this week, during President Trump's stop in South Korea, President Moon Jae-in touched on the same ironclad commitment the United States has traditionally offered to her allies in Asia. They say you know who your true friends are in times of difficulty. President Moon told soldiers during a lunch with Trump at Camp Humphreys, a U.S. military base located in South Korea. You, to bled with us during our country's most difficult time, are our true friends. You are the cornerstone and the future of the South Korea-U.S. alliance. Three U.S. military aircraft carriers are heading to the same part of the world at the same time, to take part in a rare military exercise not seen in a decade. The USS Ronald Reagan, based in Japan, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, based in San Diego, and the USS Nimitz, based at Naval Base Kitsap at Bremerton, Washington, will commence the strike force exercise in the Western Pacific Saturday through next Tuesday. Units assigned to the strike force will conduct coordinated operations in international waters to demonstrate the U.S. Navy's unique capability to operate multiple carrier strike groups as a coordinated strike force effort. While in South Korea, President Trump delivered a highly anticipated speech before leaving for China on Wednesday. He did not mince words in his remarks calling the North Korean sinister regime the result of a tragic experiment in the laboratory of history, in which leaders imprison their people under the banner of fascism and oppression. Addressing a global audience, President Donald Trump said, All responsible nations must join forces to isolate the brutal regime of North Korea, to deny it any form of support, supply, or acceptance. Today. I hope I speak not only for our countries but for all civilized nations when I say to the North, do not underestimate us. And do not try us, Trump added, insisting that the world cannot tolerate the menace of a rogue regime that threatens it with nuclear devastation. Now, more than ever, the world needs the strong leadership of President Donald Trump in the wake of North Korea's aggression. Trump is prudent in his move to send U.S. Navy aircraft carriers to the Korean Peninsula for drills. Our military must be prepared to combat North Korea if and when tensions reach a boiling point with Kim Jong-un. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. News.